Alright, so here's the first look at my Arduino powered barbecue thermometer. As you can see, I've got this nice little guy right here. This is just a standard 332nd inch plug going out to the barbecue thermometer that I yanked off of a store bought barbecue thermometer. So that's my probe. It's a 100K thermistor, in case you're wondering. I've got my breadboard here with an LCD. I've got my Arduino itself with a Ethernet shield on top of that. And as you can see, the only cable I have plugged in is the power supply, which is a 9 volt battery, and then the network cable. I don't have the USB cable plugged into the computer. So this is running the Arduino C code in order to operate everything. Up here on my monitor, here's the actual Arduino sketch to run everything, which includes reading the thermistor to get the temperature, and also the HTTP server. And then I have my little application that I'm building. Uh, I'm using Kendall UI Mobile for this right now. It's pretty awesome. Um, pretty easy to build. The things that I do have working include the temperature reading, as well as the last change, last read, and then the messages down below. So I don't have it turned on right now. I don't have the the thermometer turned on, which is why we're seeing these error messages down below. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch on the power supply. Let's see it boot up with my nice little welcome message. And a few seconds later, it starts reading the temperature. So we can see on here that it is reading the temperature on the LCD. And if we go back to the screen, we can see that we have the same temperature on the screen. So now I'm going to hold on to the end point of the thermistor here. And we can watch the temperature rising on the LCD. And we can watch the temperature rising on the screen. Of course, if I put it in my mouth and measure my temperature, it'll rise even faster. And then once I take it out or remove the heat source or whatever, the temperature starts to go down. So that's pretty much it at this point. Next steps are going to be to solder this onto an actual printed circuit board and continue to work on the software here so that I can get some of these alarms and alerts built in that I have at least mocked up in the UI right there. Uh, several other things that I want to do, including blogging all of this, everything that I've learned so far. I want to do it one step at a time, really, um, from the ground up for my blogging. And then I also want to replace this Ethernet shield with a Wi-Fi shield, which I think will be showing up later today from Amazon. So hopefully this gives you guys a good idea of what I've been doing with it, and at least shows you the functionality. And I'll be blogging about this a lot, hopefully soon.